Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React Native video, we will learn about the state in a functional component. So these are the points that we are going to cover in this video. So first of all, we will see that what actually is state, that how we can define and use the state in the functional component, and how we can update the state on a button press and any own event. So if you don't know that how we can use the state in the class component, then you can get the video from the description box also. Now. The first question is what is a state? So basically, state is an object inside your component, and this component can be a functional component and can be the class component. And in this state, you can basically store any kind of data type value. Like you can store the boolean value, you can store the array, object, and uh, numeric string, whatever you want. You can store it. Similarly, you can say that it is kind of data container, similar to the variable. And we can update this state. We can Uh, just delete the state, remove the state. Everything we can we can do in the uh, components. Uh, yes, outside the uh, component you cannot access the state. For that you must have to use the props. So now let's. Uh, I hope this you understand about the basics of states. Now let's see uh, with uh, it with an example. So this is the class component code. So I am just going to remove this code completely and we let's start with the from very scratch. Right. So whenever I just delete the code, I got a uh, error here. So let's import a React first of all. React from React, and uh, after that, just use import uh, view and uh, text. And let's import a button because we will use it as an for update the state from react native mm. yes so now let's take a const like app and uh, it can be like a functional component so we can use the array function and you can also use the normal function here and just use the return and inside the return let's just put here uh, view and uh, text and inside the text i can just add any state but how we can use the state in the functional component because actually in the functional component we cannot use the constructor so we cannot use the this so this for the using the state we have to use the hooks So I am just going to import the hooks. So just write here use state, right? And when you just uh, using the state, so let's take a const of array type, and here we can put some two value like data and set data, right? So first array will be a data storage, and second will be used for update it. And just use here uh, use state, and in this bracket you can put a default value. Like I just want to put my default value zero. So whenever I am just going to access this data here, then it will be print basically zero. And I must have to uh, export default app here. So now you can see that. we got a zero but uh, this is little bit tiny so i can just add some style here like uh, font size 100 okay after doing that we we just actually get to know that how we can use the state and how we can define it but how we can update it this is the next thing for that i already have a button so on the button click i am just going to update this state for that let's uh, just use button first of all and uh, let's close it put some title like uh, update state right like this and now here i can just simply put here on press and on here uh, let's use the arrow function if you just actually want to use so just write here this dot set 
such data and here I can just put the new value like uh, 10 can be the new value and now let's see that whenever I'm just going to click on it okay so it's defined it's actually telling that uh, okay so we can directly actually use this other function like this right so whenever I'm just going to click it will just show me the 10 is the updated value all right so if you just want to some continue update then you can just put here data because this is the value something and plus one so it will just increase the value one by one here like this right so if you have the two button then it can be give a nice content like here you can just make it minus one and on the upside you can use the plus one so minus and plus so this is all about that how we can use this state in the functional component <coughs> sorry and if you still have any kind of issue you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye